Hey everyone, uh, uh, Philip Sanima here, another room redneck cooking. Yep. So now, most people know how to cook rice and vegetables and all kinds of stuff. But did you know if you combine everything that you've cooked and put it together and you combine it all in one spot? and you mix it. It has every vitamin, every mineral, everything that your body needs. So, that being said, I'll show you what I've done. Last night's supper, rice and some meat. Well, that's okay. But it's not very nutritious without the extra ingredients. So I'm going to show you what I've done. And I'll explain what I've uh, put in. So here we go. So here we are. We've got your beans, your carrots, your peas, and uh, your meat, your rice, some broccoli, my fave. And some uh, uh, canned uh, soup, your veggie soup from a can. No big deal. It doesn't matter what what kind it is. So that being done, I'm gonna get it mixed and then I'll throw it into there. Cast iron, baby. Cast iron. Well, pause you all for now and bring you all back soon. Well, there it is. It's all it's all in there. Come on, honey girl. Come on, honey guru. Thank you, girl. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh yeah. Well, this is where most people say, uh, yeah, you won't catch me eating that. But I tell you, and this is going, I'm going to say it one last time. I'm going to tell you, no matter what you do, who you are, where you live, what kind of conditions you're living in, if you have next to nothing, and you've got, hang on. And you got next to nothing, like I said, and you say that you want you want to have something to eat, but you don't want to wait, go and waste food that you the food that you do have left, and the food that you had already pre-cooked and had the night before. Or you got other food that's been stored away, to, stored away in your freezer for, say, about a month, two months, uh, maybe seven months. Let's go a year. You got fro you got your food froze away for a whole entire year. Whatever's left from the year before that you've uh, had co cooked, and it's still in the, fr in the freezer. Do not worry about how long it's been in the freezer because I'm going to tell you right now for one year it's good. Two years still good. Third year you best to throw it out because it's freezer burnt. Unless you, you check it check it every say six months. Make sure it's not freezer burnt. If it is Put in a new package, put it back in the freezer. So what? Food's still good, just repackaging it. That's how uh, food gets freezer burnt because 
it's being stuck in one package and you leave it and for the food not to be, get freezer burnt you got to change packages every now and then so that being said you you take all you take the food that's already been pre-frozen from your previous dinners and you combine them well it doesn't matter what it looks like all what matters is that you're eating and uh, you uh and it and it, it may look disgusting but it's actually healthy i'm a redneck i go with what i think and if i think add everything including the kitchen sink that's what i do so most like i see how people eat a lot of people nowadays do not know how to cook. Why? Because. And so, always video games or always watching TV or not going outside enough to make their brain function and make them look at life in a different way. They just look at life as being on TV and being on a game system. Not me. I was born with ADHD. So what? I may not look like I have it, but I do. And, uh... That's the reason why I took up the... That's why I took cooking up. To keep me focused. Keep me on track. That's why I'm not doing anything I should not be doing. So, and that put all your uh, frozen foods together that you've already pre that you had dinners from previously. Put them together. Try it out. Have fun with it. That's all I got. So is just have fun cooking and throw the love into it because then that's how it tastes better. Love is all always the way to go. And that's another Redneck Cooking signing out. And yee-haw! Yeah.